Hi everyone. I'm here at the Gloyd Room at Aeolian Hall, and uh, this is where uh, I used to live and uh, lived here with my husband Brian for uh, from 2004 to 2011. Um, it's now extra green room space and meeting space for the uh, for the facility and um, and sometimes office space as well, depending on what we need it for. Kitchen back this way. I want to take you on a little bit of a ghost tour today, and uh, I'm going to take you uh, down below this level where few few dare to go. And uh, this was one of my first uh, experiences with um, something related to the paranormal. And uh, stay tuned, I'll show you in a second. Here's the door leading from the Gloyd room. And we're gonna head down. Now, it's a little bit creepy, I'm warning you. So this is the old staircase from 1883, 84. And uh, take you down. It's creaky. It's scary. All right. So here we are. Um, yeah, so this, the story is that um, I was here alone, living alone, and we had uh, the fire alarm go off in the middle of the winter. I think it was uh, December of 2004. And oh, there's the fire suppression system. And you can see these doors that lead off into dark spaces. And there's another one over there, and another one over here, some furnaces back in there. Oh, there's a sign for Jack Layton. He did a he did a, a rally for a by-election here. I got to spend a day with him. Really cool guy. At any rate, um, I'm not going to stay down here too long, I must say. But uh, yeah, so the fire alarm went off, and of course the trucks came, and the men came in. There was quite a few of them. I think it's was three three alarms so we had three engines and all these firemen and we searched all over the building and then um you can see we have a dirt floor down here um so <laughs> we uh we got to the point of looking to the basements and i opened the door and the guy one of the firemen turned to me and said i'm not going down there that's probably where you keep the dead bodies so I had to go down first. These young, virile firemen uh, did not want to go down here. Um, and the story is, if we look at this wall, for example, um, on the other side of the street, on Rectory Street, uh, there used to be two graveyards. Um, they were moved, um, and they go back to the 19th century, I think, uh, uh, middle of the 19th century, they were moved. and. Uh, um, I guess there was a cholera epidemic and the guys who were moving the graves, well, they, they did not want to uh, catch the disease. So they would drink lots of alcohol and, um, and they thought that if they did that, they wouldn't catch the cholera. And so <laughs> they missed a lot of bodies. And in recent years, they've been discovering them here and there in the neighborhood, uh, at Western Fair, and um, they've been doing some other diggings. Uh, just to, uh, to check and make sure that uh, they don't find any more. But, uh, but this is uh, the foundation level of the stories, the ghost stories of Aeolian Hall. So I am going to sign off at this point and get myself out of this scary space. And uh, stay tuned, there's more episodes to come.